Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to ShortSellPowerHour.com. I'm Kevin Kaufman. That's Fred Weaver. We're Group 4610. And this young lady to my left or my right, from your point of view, is Kate Gentry. Pretty Hi. sure it's always to your left, no matter what they're seeing. It's, it's still on my left, okay. but to their right. Really, right. guys, let's not debate See, this it. is no. not that important. Kate here. Yeah. 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 Wow, okay, yeah. we've, got, we've got a referee Get here to today. to the point. Yeah, so we uh, we brought in the softer side of us today. Yeah, let's absolutely. put it that way. Oh, you're so yeah. nice. So, Kate, um, you are like one of the top short sale agents in all of Arizona. And, um, Next to you guys. I've been competing with you for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I just learned today that you've been competing more than <laughs> I even had knowledge of. I love it. So, um, anyway, share with the audience, like, you know, kind of what you do, how you got started, and then um, I think you have more of a non-controversial topic to talk about today than Wednesday's episode. You're probably going to piss off fewer credit union employees than we did a couple days ago. Oh, and that breaks my heart, but I am going to help your viewers get more yes. money. So, okay. uh, yes, they like that. Yeah, my short version is I actually did a short sale uh, 14, almost 15 years ago now on accident, I say. Wow. And I'm fairly certain that the statute of limitations is up, and I nice. can't be sued over it because I had absolutely no clue as to what I was doing. So then I don't I don't know the new Mars regulations might actually yeah. put you in jeopardy for your I, deal. I'm trying not to read those right now. Anyway, uh, so I did a short sale uh, on accident. It was successful, okay. and uh, when this market hit, and I faced clients, and they said, "Well, what do I do?" And I said, "Well, there is this thing called a short sale." And then I went, "Oh no!" And I had to go figure out how to do it really fast. Yes. And so that's kind of where it started. And we closed 91 short sales last year, and 89 the year before, and. Just trying to keep up with you guys. That's a lot. I love it. And you also have been teaching and training around the country for a couple of years, too. Yes, I have. Like, even before Kevin and I were. Like, yeah. yeah. She definitely went non local before you and I ever. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. We were still just teaching around. I finally Phoenix. one up to them. <laughs> we were just teaching around Phoenix, and all of a sudden, Kate's in Maryland. Kate's in this state. <laughs> Kate's in that. I'm like, what the heck? You can do it, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah now you have. So, you've got a tip today to share um, that has to do with commissions for buyers agents. Yeah, this is huge. A blow I had never heard this before today. Just Honestly, right I'm impressed and like there aren't very many things like see, people will tweak different things out there that like we do or that I've heard other people do. This one right here is brand new. I'm going to say it. It's brand new. I've never heard anybody oh, present it that I way. I can't even tell you how excited I am that it's brand new to you guys. Yeah. Is it brand new yeah. to you? Because I've seriously never uh, heard anybody. I've, I've thought about it. Um, but for, yes, from but not from her angle. The angle that she's yeah. going to teach us is completely it's new. Brand to me. new to me. It's the the um, the thought process of it is not new. It's the way she executes it that makes me go. That is genius. Oh so, God! Wow! Well, now I'm yeah. the pressure. So we better Seriously share it. On. Okay, yeah. so right. here it is. Here's the setup for this. Um, this requires a buyer broker agreement. You have to get a buyer broker agreement. And when you're having this counseling conversation with your client, you have to. Um, provide the information that we're in a distressed market and because of that a lot of the sellers are not in a position to pay the full amount that I charge for my services. So what I'd like to do, and this is a script that I use with my clients mm -hmm. and teach my buyer's agents, what I'd like to do Mr. and Mrs. Buyer is ask your permission right now to be able to show you these distressed properties that offer a commission less than what I charge but to get your permission right now to go ahead and ask the seller up front to pay that additional compensation so it doesn't have to come out of your pocket at close of escrow. Is that okay with you? Well, of course they're going to say yes. Great, let me tell you how we're going to do that. When we write the contract, we're going to go ahead and write in there, seller to contribute X amount, whether it's a percent, a dollar amount, whatever, the mm -hmm. difference between what's being offered in MLS and whatever it is that you charge, we're going to ask for that in seller's concessions to be payable as um, closing costs and or settlement fees. Now, for those of you in Arizona, be really careful because the new contract, that new line in there, says title and escrow fees. You need to actually add verbiage in there Got that it. says buyer's closing costs and or settlement fees to be able to get paid that way. I like it. So we submit it to the lender. The lender improve, approves those concessions. All you need to do now is submit your buyer broker to the title company, instruct them that that additional compensation is your commission, so you. mm -hmm. okay? Show them the buyer broker. Show them the yeah. buyer broker yeah. agreement, the contract, and if there's lending associated with it, make sure that the buyer's lender knows what portion is for you and what portion is for the buyer's concessions Got if it. they're getting additional concessions Got on top it. of that. Works every time. You don't have to ask the listing agent for additional commission. You get the seller's lender in a short sale to pay for it. Works like a charm. I love it. 
Fabulous, huh? Jeez. Jeez. You could have made me a lot more money on the buyer transactions yeah. for often. Brandon, you better be watching this yeah, video Brandon. right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's all I got. I'm good. No, so that's a great one. We like that. We appreciate that. I'm wow. I'll tell you, that alone took our average commission on the buyer side from somewhere between 2.4 up to 2.9, almost 3%. Nice. Wow. So I was, something else I want to point out, kind of off topic, but she started with something, something that we've talked about on the show before, and I just want to show you that it's a... That it's a common theme among successful real estate teams. She said a buyer broker. So it, would it be fair to say that in your business, buyers don't get shown houses until after they've signed a buyer broker? Of course not. Okay. So, Why well, would an attorney work for you without a, without contract, a contract and a retainer okay. fee? No. So that's just a side bit because we've, we've added some more, you know, we've had a few episodes now on buy, we're representing buyers and things like that. and. Fred and I talked about it in the Crush It short sale class all day long. We talk about the buyer broker and why it's so important. So agents, I just want to point that out to you. Just want to make a simple point. Kate, Kate's tip was great. Okay, it was amazing, and I think you should use it. I think we're going to use it. Um, but the second piece of that is buyer broker, guys. You notice the theme here? Like successful teams use buyer brokers. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like that's a that's a theme I'm, I see. Just run your business like a business. Bingo. I love it. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Do you have any upcoming teaching dates like in Phoenix or anywhere you want to announce while you're on the show? Because uh, we have agents all over. Some of them like us, most of them. Yeah, like no, us. I'm actually in the process of writing three new classes. Oh, so you I want to keep you posted on that. Okay, and I'll cool. let you know when we'll we have you back out. on the show so you can announce your classes. Yeah, we're doing some paperless, how to go paperless in the short sale world class. Nice. And, That's a good um, class. Tips like a whole class designed on tips like this. Cool. And, and can I let them know that you're going to be in Vegas at Short Sales Uncensored Most definitely. next Friday, as in like a, a week, week from, from today. today? So you need to be there as well. We're still selling tickets, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm bringing five of my closest friends. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Love Wouldn't it. Wouldn't miss it. Cool. So make sure you show up for that. Brian Gubernick, Kevin Kaufman, and I teaching that class. And you can pick Kate Gentry's brain on the on the breaks at lunch I'll be in the front before row. or after. You yeah. name it. Cool. Right. Let's wrap it up. You know no, how this goes. Right. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Love it. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it. Crush it. Cool. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome.